day viewers, Walter here. Thought I'd come on today and do a little bit of a vlog. I'm going to do a little bit of talking, a little bit of product review. Uh, the other day I did a product review on this Saker grease gun coupler. And I did a giveaway. I haven't awarded it yet. You got two, two more days to say you want this little grease coupler but you first gotta watch the video and make a comment on it anyway uh, I did that review for the Saker company and they asked me would I do another review for them so today I'm gonna do another product review today I'm just gonna show you the product probably talk about it a little bit and many of you know I've been out here working in the yard lately with my chainsaws and my lawnmowers and stuff, cleaning up limbs. Well, today's product is going to come in downright handy for working out there in the yard, and we're going to do some demonstrating with it tomorrow. Like I said, today we're going to talk about it. And I'll show you the product, and then we'll carry on from there. Oh, I should mention... The product is a Saker Mini Chainsaw. They asked me would I like to try one of those. Now, I don't get paid for this commercial, uh, but it was, they were nice enough to send me one, so I'm going to do an honest review on it. And from what I've seen on the other YouTube videos, I think you'll be quite impressed with it.
this my friends is not a toy tomorrow we're going to get out there and demonstrate it talk about some of the safety features to be considered but you know any power tool is dangerous many of you will say oh that thing is dangerous so is a skill saw uh, a drill a, a reciprocating saw I can think of a hundred power tools that will take your head off. So whatever tools you use, you have to work with safety. That includes safety glasses, leather gloves, chaps when needed, whatever else you think you might need to keep yourself safe. Two hands, for example. So tomorrow we're going to get out here and do some demonstrating. I have not charged the battery. And it feels like it's on there too tight. These things have to be old. But we'll talk about all that tomorrow. That's my part one of my review of the Saker um, Mini Chainsaw. And uh, be sure and tune in tomorrow. Let's see what I can do out there in the yard with it. And I'll make it part of my yard cleaning video. Uh, not only use this saw, use some other ones, and I'll point out some things you might want to consider. But from what I've seen, I think I'm thoroughly impressed with this product. I've seen no reason why I wouldn't recommend it right now, even though I haven't cut a thing with it. I've watched quite a few YouTube videos with it. There's several things you could use it for trimming limbs. I've got an apple tree out back that needs pruned. I've got fence lying out there with trees and branches growing in it. And this is a lot lighter than a big heavy chainsaw. But you do have to get a hold it different than a regular chainsaw. And like I say, we'll talk about all that. Anyway, I thank you for tuning in for part one. Uh, I spent the last two days watching the Braves lose a series to Philadelphia or I would have made some more yard videos today. So I just got a, my hats off to Philadelphia. They flat out played the Braves and they deserved the win. Braves didn't make it this year. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. This is P. Walpar. Hoping you comment and don't forget my um, my Saker Grease Gun giveaway. All you do is go over to my channel and find the video. It was posted a couple of days ago. Y'all take care. P. Walpar wishing everybody well.